I know it's been a minute, but welcome back to the channel. Um, so yeah, I have started collecting again, and I found something so amazing, an unintentional holy grail, if you will, that I had to resurrect the channel again to show all of you guys. A few months ago, I found myself at PowerCon for the first time. For those of you that don't know, PowerCon is a huge toys and collectibles convention in Columbus, Ohio. Some of the heavy hitters of the toy world were there, such as NECA, Mego, Super 7, and even the legendary McFarlane toys. I mean, that one brought me back. I remember getting McFarlane toys as a kid. It's an amazing convention. I highly recommend you go next year. Lots of cool stuff. While I'm not a huge action figure collector, I went for the sake of nostalgia. Seeing some of that stuff brought me back to a simpler time, and it was much needed. With that said, I was prepared to buy something. I just didn't know what. And after two hours of being at the convention, I walked out with two amazing items. I mean, these items are so amazing. They deserve two separate videos. This item right here immediately became an unintentional Holy Grail find for me. I had no intention on ever owning this, but coming face to face with it, I just, I had to have it. Before we do the big unveil, in the words of the immortal Freddie M, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? So what is this thing that I had to come out of hiatus to show everybody? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is an original single sheet Mallrats movie poster. So let's take a break from looking at my ugly mug and truly embrace this beautiful piece of artwork. Off the side here. Got the month. It's recommended for mature or troubled audiences. I mean, they got their demographic, right? Gramercy release. Look at this iconic logo, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I'm in just an awe. Every time I look at this thing, I'm in awe. I cannot believe I own this. Got the approval from the Comics Code Authority off to the side here. Mr. Brody Bruce. Superhero anatomy, topless fortune telling, bunny bashing, and more. I mean, what more could you have wanted out of a movie in 1985? LaFours, Renee, played by Miss Shannon Doherty. LaFours was played by Arnold Schwarzenegger's stunt double, for those of you that didn't know. Mr. J and Silent Bob for the first time in color. T.S. Quint, Brandy Svenning, her father, Mr. Svenning, Michael Rooker. Then you got William. And then, of course, last but not least, Mr. Stan the Man Lee. Got the credits down here. Rated R, for those of you that weren't aware of that. So amazing. Sorry for the poor lighting and the shaky camera work. Um, I'm still learning how to use my gimbal. So let's go back to me. You know, Mallrats is my favorite Kevin Smith movie. It's the movie that introduced me to Kevin Smith. It's the movie I could relate to a lot back then, and even more so now. So it fills me with absolute joy to own something from its original theatrical run. The poster was done by legendary artist Drew Struz. Andrew is responsible for so many great iconic movie posters, such as The Goonies, Back to the Future, Indiana Jones, Coming to America. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, Drew is definitely an icon. I'm a huge fan of his work, and I'm extremely honored to own this. I mean, granted, it's not an original, it's not a print, but I mean, this is the closest thing I'll ever get, and I am super stoked about that. Now here comes the part I tell you how much I paid for this. I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to show you the price tag, because if I were to tell you, you wouldn't believe me. Read it and weep, folks. I was so shocked they were letting us go for that much. Online, you can't touch us for under $120, at least. The vendor I bought this from had an oddball assortment of movie posters. I mean, there was it was a pretty decent selection. I honestly think he wanted to get rid of these, so I think he priced them to sell, which, I mean, benefited me greatly. I don't collect movie posters. I mean, I own a few other original ones. I mean, it's a... I mean, for me, it's a pricey hobby that I can't fully commit to. That, and I only have so much wall space. However, if I did get a big enough collection going, I could rotate them. Around. And I do have an idea of how I would rotate them and how I would store them. The one question I constantly get is, am I going to take this to get signed? 
later on down the road. And truth be known is I, I'm not. I don't want to take it out. It's frame, roll it up, and carry it around a convention. Um, it was dumb luck that I found this. Where I found it, at the price I found it, I don't want to risk that. So my plans for the foreseeable future is just to have it hanging in my living room. I think that'll do it for this video. Stay tuned for my next video. My next video will be an unboxing and perfectly appropriate for Halloween. Hopefully I'll have it up by then. Until then, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handles will be in the description below. If you follow me on TikTok, I'll usually post a preview of the next video that I'll be posting onto this channel. In the meantime, in the comments, let me know what you think about this. Have you ever been in the same situation where you found an unintentional Holy Grail find? What is your Holy Grail find? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk. Lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, everybody, thank you so much.